<laughs> what do you get when you combine people's innate fear of clowns with an alien invasion? What do you get? Killer clowns from outer space. Holy shit. <laughs> yes, the 1980 cult classic, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> Where do the clowns come from? Nobody knows. What do they want? Well, let's talk about it. Killer Clowns from Outer Space was brought to us by directing duo the Chiodo Brothers who are master effects artists who worked on the Critters movies as well as did the effects for Large Marge and Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You remember Large Marge. And they finally pulled the driver's body from the twisted, burning wreck. It looked like this. <laughs> The movie was filmed on a $1.8 million budget in Watsonville, California, and was released in June 3rd, 1988. The film begins as a group of teenagers witness a meteor go across the sky and decide to investigate it. But instead of finding a meteor wreckage site, they find a big top tent. Circus tent. Although, unbeknownst to our teens, the circus isn't in town. And instead, it's an invasion of killer clowns. You, you get where I'm going with this? Of course, the kids tell the police that the cops are coming. But of course, in any 50s invasion movie, the police don't believe them. And of course, we get the best policemen of them all. Right, Dave? Okay, clowns, cotton candy, flying popcorn. Go ahead, let it make fools out of the police department. I told you I was just over there. Who are you gonna believe, me or this little tramp? Now, come on. The clowns then begin to take over this small town and begin killing all the folks in very clowny fashion. <laughs> This scene in particular really stood by me through my youth. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Knock my block off? <laughs> oh, a shower scene. Now you may be asking, why are the clowns invading Earth? Well, to feast on us, of, of course, because human flesh is very, very tasty. <laughs> Not that I would know. <laughs> now you may be asking, how are they planning to consume the humans? Are they going to grill us up and serve us with some faba beans and a nice Chianti? Or maybe turn us into some sort of a soylent material. No. They of course turn us into cotton candy, of course. <laughs> and then drink our insides.
the clowns continue going through the town, turning people into cotton candy cocoons, and collect them all for future consumption, of course. Our heroes eventually break into the spaceship slash clown tent and try to thwart their plans, but then run into Clownzilla. <laughs> Clown was, of course, in production, was going to be a stop animation creation, but they ran into budgetary issues and went with a man in a rubber suit, which I find much better than the stop motion. Our hero policeman destroys Clownzilla, and the sense destroys the entire spaceship, sending the clowns away to never the film initially received poor reviews, but has of course gained a great cult following over the years. Hence my review of it. <laughs> when I set out a vote to pick my next review, it was no contest that people wanted to see Killer Clowns. It is known for being a goofy send-up of Invasion 50s movies, but taken seriously enough that you can enjoy it. It doesn't have the forced fun feel of Jack Frost, but it also is kind of fan family friendly in a sense that it's a PG-13 movie. Since it's gained a cult classic following, it has many midnight showings and has been seen as a great late night movie to check out on cable. And that's where I, of course, came across it initially, was on a late night cable. I find Killer Clown be an incredibly fun and goofy movie, but still creepy enough to register as a horror movie, with the clowns having a great design and she's used for a great effect. It leans into the ridiculousness, although on purposely goofy, it doesn't feel like they meant for it to be that goofy, which adds to the fun of the movie. It combines 50s cheese with 80s cheese to make a delicious, Tasty fondue. <laughs> and let's not forget the amazing theme song by the punk band The Dickies. Since Killer Clowns was not well received on its initial release and had low attendance. No sequels were ever made. But of course, due to its cult following, many things have now turned into the works. In 2005, a toy line of the movie was released to wide appraise. In 2012, the Chiodo brothers said they are working on a sequel to their cult classic movie, tentatively titled Return of the Killer Clowns from Outer Space in 3D! <laughs> An amazingly cheesy title, don't you think? <laughs> of course, 2016 was the last we heard of this, where it is still an early production, but the idea of a TV show based around the invasion has also been kicked around. So it may be very soon that we see the Kill the Clowns return and release more clowny mayhem. <laughs> Killer Clowns from Outer Space still holds up to today. It's a lot of fun, and its cheesy nature leads to some great viewing, but also has some very creepy moments. It makes it the great classic combination of horror and comedy. I suggest definitely checking out if you haven't seen it, but of course I believe everyone has seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space. So if you find yourself bored of the Captain Spaulding, <laughs> or the Pennywises, and popcorn? Popcorn? Is that your favorite? Uh huh. Mine too. <laughs> I suggest the Killer Clowns from Outer Space.
Now if you'll excuse me, I'm late for my Clown Defamation League meeting, where we promote the clowns aren't scary, clowns are sexy! Now they say about the crazy ones. Huh? Thank you for joining me on another macabre movie mania. What'd you think of Killer Clowns from Outer Space? Are you excited if they are going to make a sequel? Let me know in those comments below. Hit, throw me a thumbs up if you're not too busy, and if you could, please share this video. And of course, I vote on my subjects of my next macabre movie mania, so make sure you follow me at wizard underscore Matt on Twitter to make sure you get your vote heard. And if you're not too busy, check out one of these two other videos. They are very awesome. Thanks again for joining me. Why? Popcorn! Because the clouds, that's why.